<laughs> so I cannot get as lean as Chris Froome. Time will tell. So I've been doing this uh, weight loss thing now for the last four weeks where I just eat till I'm about 80% full. And so far it's going well. I've lost three kilograms. I started at 70 kilos and I'm down to 67 kilos now and it's still counting. So it's working well, keeping it on a good schedule. Um, losing anything more than a kilogram per week is way too rapid weight loss. So you've got the key to weight loss is to keep it steady, keep it controlled. And at what point will I stop the weight loss? I'll stop when I see my power starts dropping significantly. So if I'm getting like a 20 watt or more drop, then I know it's time to stop the weight loss and just maintain my weight. So how lean is Chris Froome action? It's been reported that at the Criterium de Dauphiné, his weight has been as low as 66 kilos. And this has put him at a body fat percentage of 4%. So every kilo of body weight is roughly a percentage in body fat. And my body fat percentage at 67 kilos when I had it tested last time was 7%. So we can assume that it's more or less the same for me and Froome when we drop a kilo of body weight that we drop a, a percentile in, in fat percentage. So for me to be as lean as Chris Froome, have a similar BMI, as you can see, we've got a similar body type. I'm 183, he's 185. For me to be a similar um, fat percentage, I have to be at around 64 kilos. So I'm projecting that's going to take around four or five weeks of weight loss still. And at that point, I'm going to look like a Tour de France rider, Tour de France champion. But um, obviously my threshold isn't going to be the same since I'm not doing anything special, which is what it takes if you want to be banging out six and a half watts per kilo for an hour. But yeah, I'll soon reach that target weight and hopefully I can get the common on Doisy